Hey guys, and welcome to this video. So again, it's the 4th of October, and it is time for the monthly review of the Walking Dead comic, issue 172, Hilltop Reborn. Now last time we got introduced to the Princess of Pittsburgh, and straight away she made a great first impression on me. I think fans are truly liking up to Julian, Jul, Juliantina Sanchez. But yeah, Hilltop Reborn, judging by the cover, I'm guessing obviously, and by the title, we are seeing the rebirth of the Hilltop. Um, I have not read this issue. I'm now going to go through it with you because I'd love to. And I love reading this issue with you guys. And don't forget, three weeks to go until The Walking Dead Season 8. It's going to be an all-out war. You know what it is. It's going to be intense. It's going to be amazing. And it's going to be worth it. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the issue. Hilltop Reborn, previously... Arriving in Pittsburgh, Michonne's crew discover the city deserted except one sole survivor, the princess. And she doesn't and she hasn't talked to anyone in a long time. After Princess takes out some walkers, Michonne agrees to let her come to Ohio, a decision she quickly regrets. But yeah, we start off Well, she's starting off saying you need Michonne needs to have a sense of humour. Now Michonne is a badass character, but she has never really had much of a sense of humour, judging by her past and relationships with Tyrese, Morgan, and Ezekiel in the books. But Yumiko is very fond of her and saying that the trip is going to be entertaining. I think that would be quite funny. I think you kind of need humour at the end of the world, because it, it just seems pretty fun. No, I guess humour just needs it. But obviously they wait some time, uh, Michonne says she's not waiting, but, um, okay. All she collected was a giant spear, and that is a brilliant page spread. I love page spreads. I don't know how many times in a month or in my reviews I'm going to be saying it, but I do just love page spreads, because Charlie Adlard, Charlie Adlard is a brilliant artist, he's a brilliant, he's a brilliant everything, let's just leave it at that. But... Uh, n again, Princess is just showing off her true comedy right here, just saying, not, not one cool comment about her rad spear, and I guess because it is a spear, uh, they start heading off, uh, she asks for a gun back and Michonne says she'll keep a hold of it, she goes, whatever, I have others. Uh, we cut back to Rick and Annie, I believe, at the, uh, at, at the safe zone. Uh, we meet two new horses called Apple and Peach Pit. And they're getting shoes. Because that's what everyone wants at the end of the world. Horseshoes. Um, Mikey. We never really hear much from Mikey. Um, Paula's son or Nicholas's son. Uh, Paula recently died in issue 163. So, yeah. Uh, they talk for a little bit. They start doing a bit of farming. Uh, we we kind of cut around a bit for this next two pages. Uh, we cut to the Michonne group, uh, the hilltop, obviously being reborn about Carl having a broken back. Um, okay. Uh, Rick kneeling at Andrea's grave again. Uh, Dante uh, finally giving the location to Maggie of Negan. Because if you saw the cover for 174, if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. Uh, Negan is going to be on his own for issue 174, which is kind of a shame, to be honest, but, I mean, what can you do? Uh, Jesus and Aaron, I keep forgetting that they're together now, but what can you expect? Uh, back with the princess group, that's what I'm going to call them for now, but she's giving her like, oh, boo, boo, like, football fans, if you are ever a fan of football, I could never really get into it, I'm not a fan of football, personally. But she's just saying, oh, why can't you let me use my spear? I wanted to take it out, but yeah. And this is a strange concept, because in the next panel, Jesus and Aaron say they're leaving, but Rick dozed off at Andrea's grave. He did that at the end of 168, and it kind of scares me, because Rick is becoming so different now, and he's just sleeping with Andrea at her grave, which is kind of upsetting, because... Obviously, they survived since the beginning, and it's just really upsetting to see Rick doing this. Um, now, a brilliant double-page spread of the Hilltop being reborn once again. I love page spreads and double-page spreads. It really captures an image. But 
thanks to the Kingdom and William, they obviously help out with the supplies. Uh, William talking to Maggie. Now, I'll admit I'm not a big fan of William because obviously King Ezekiel was the king of the kingdom, but it's just different not having Ezekiel around anymore because he has died. He's been dead for quite a while, but it's just I I don't like William as a character. Obviously, I haven't I I'm I'm not quick to judge because we haven't really seen much of him. Uh, during the series, so yeah, uh, we get the backward image of the cover. So Carl putting in those um, planks or plaques for the top of the building. We see that as well. Uh, Dante giving tips to Carl about how he's doing. Uh, Lydia and Carl. I think the Lydia and Carl dynamic. It's it's nice to see in every issue, but it's just a bit. Why aren't they together? Because obviously back during the Whisperer War, um, Lydia said um, she didn't love Carl. But I think they do. But Lydia's just thanking him for finally for her having a place to belong. Because she was the daughter of Alpha. She was basically the princess of the Whisperers. And it's just... She's... She's... Oh, I'm guessing she's starting to love Carl again. But I noticed in the final panel, Sophia and Herschel... Um, Sophia just looks at Carl because I think Sophia's starting to get jealous. Because I remember at the start, uh, when they were at the prison, um, Sophia and Carl were technically going out even though they were like seven or eight. But obviously, now that she's much older and starting to go through like puberty and stuff, because they're about 13 here, she I think she is starting to have feelings for Carl. And I feel like that's going to be a problem coming up within the series. Uh, more princess stuff, uh, Michonne stuff. Um, Michonne asks Princess to help. I love how she... Princess is now my new favourite character. Um, she just puts on the goggles and just goes, Heck yeah! Like, she knows what she's doing. She's, she's treating this like a massive game. And then we get Magna and Yumiko. Obviously, they slept together in issue 170 and making out, but obviously... Um, this was really strange, because I, I like how they have, um, uh, gay couples in The Walking Dead, like Aaron and Jesus, uh, Magna and Yumiko, but she's saying, do you think you'll go back to being straight? But Magna says, that's not how it works. She loves Yumiko now. She's lesbian. And she feels, and Magna's like, I don't know if I could tell people. And that's kind of strange, because... It's the end of the world. You can love who you like. It's it, You can express yourself. But I'm guessing, judging by what Yumiko says next, and she, she says this, you think your parents' ghosts are going to disown you. Her pet, like, she shouldn't care what people think. And she thinks the walkers care about what she goes through. And it, it doesn't. It really does not matter. Uh, she says it's not that simple. But Yumiko just says to everyone... Me and Magna are completely and utterly gay. That's fine, they're coming out to each other and to everyone else. But Michonne is a bit awkward about it and says congrats, and then you, Sadiq and Eugene goes, I knew, and me too. But I think Eugene knew because of issue 170, he always looks. Now that's, now everyone knows that's, that's classic Eugene. He always watches. He watched Abraham and Rosita. In the book and the show. But he still does it. And yeah. Uh, Jesus and Aaron finally leave Alexandria. They say goodbye and have safe travels. Um, ooh. Now these next two pages. Um, I've, I've kind of wanted for a while. Um, I think Sophia is trying to hide her feelings for Carl. Because obviously they knew each other since the start. Since they were very young. They've gone through so, so much. And it's really upsetting. But Carl's like... Well, Sophia's like, can we talk more? I miss you as a friend. But Carl obviously takes it in the wrong way and says... Um, I'm with Lydia. I don't want to cheat. Stuff like that. But she's like, no, I just want to talk to you as a friend. I'd like to talk to you a lot more. And Carl understands then. But Carl's like, we shouldn't wake up Maggie. 
And Sophia's like, well, no, she she's um she's gonna sleep like a rock with everything she's going through, but we just get her just being so solid, just awake and probably hearing everything. But she must think, okay, her daughter is loving Carl, but obviously she doesn't want to tell him. But I feel like that's going to be something that happens. I feel like there's going to be a massive confrontation between Sophia and Lydia about Carl, because that would be funny. Robert Kirkman, please think of these ideas. Uh, we later cut back to Rick uh, at Andrew's grave. He's saying, uh, we're strong, we're getting stronger now. And he just misses her. And he still sleeps at her grave, which is very upsetting. Because, I mean, if I ever, like, I'm, I'm saying this out of respect. If I ever lost someone that was very close to me, I'd never want to leave them by their side. Like... If it was like my parents, I would and I would be such an emotional wreck. Like Rick, I couldn't go through with it. If I lost, if I lost like a girlfriend or something, I would, I couldn't bear with it. But we get a nice few panels of Aaron and Jesus, um, and he says, "Yeah, I think this one's going to last." That tells me that Jesus wants to be with Aaron for the rest of his life. Oh my fucking god. Now, ah, 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 ah. Finally, he's back. Oh my god. Now this, I think many Walking Dead fans have wanted for some time. It's the return of Beta behind Jesus. Yes! Now. Oh, and there's the end of the fucking issue as well. Nah! Nah! <laughs> Why, Kirkman? Why do this to me? Oh, my days. Now, everyone has wanted Baton to come back, but when I saw the 173 cover, I wanted Baton to come back. I, I kind of predicted he was coming back because of the shadowy figure in the coat, but now it's confirmed. Why must you keep us waiting, Kirkman? Why? <laughs> but Jesus doesn't know he's behind, but I feel like Beta is going to kill either Jesus or Aaron next issue. I feel like that's going to happen. I don't want to jinx myself, but in the letter hacks, um, Kirkman does state, we have been getting some mail on where the hell Beta went. And I didn't want to disappoint. We also made, just made a bad, badass action figure of that dude. Uh, so go check him out online at Skybound Shop. Go do it now if you really want to. But I'm so happy Beta's back. He's been... He's an awesome whisperer. I really loved him as a whisperer during... Yes, he may have only been in for 154 through 162... That's it. Nine issues. This is his tenth issue appearance. I'm counting it anyway. But then next month we've got... Next month we've got um, issue one... Yeah, 173. Uh, it's called Final Fight. I cannot wait for that. Kirkman, you have really pulled your... You really pulled surprises on me. I love your writing. I love you in general. Please don't take that the wrong way. But... Oh, I don't know. To McDonald's product placement. But that's the end of the issue, guys. I also want to say I did collect the Here's Negan hardcover book. Um, I have read it. I have read Here's Negan. If you want me to do an analysis on the full hardcover of Here's Negan 1 through 16, um, if you really want me to, I will do it. Please leave a comment or a like down below to signify. If you if we get this video to five likes, then I will do an analysis on here's Negan, because um, I do love Negan as a character. I cannot wait to see where his story goes in issue one seventy four. But anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you really did enjoy this. Please don't forget. Blah, blah, blah. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share on this video. Because if you are fans of The Walking Dead, just like me, I would love you ever so much if we could talk about it but don't forget three weeks until all out war begins on the walking dead tv show season eight it's coming i cannot wait i hope you can't wait too i will be doing reactions to all the episodes so yeah 
Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.